for the love of God, I need people to understand that a cholesterol molecule is too big mm. to pass the, the blood-brain barrier. Yeah. An LDL less than 70 is ideal mm. for brain health outcomes. Yeah. But then we've got people like Paul Saladino who is arguing that even an LDL of over 300 is not a cause for concern. So I can understand why there's so much confusion in this area. That is, I think, a very naive opinion that isn't reflective of the science that we have today. Even if your insulin resistance is great, you know, all the other markers of your health are great, but you've got a high apolipoprotein B or LDLC, you are on the trajectory towards cardiovascular disease regardless. And I don't care how clean your diet is, it's very hard to control for the other risk factors for cardiovascular disease, like stress like environmental pollutants. You can live in the cleanest environment possible, but you're always going to be having some impact on your body. Poor sleep, for example. There's lots of things that you can't counter. You've got to control the controllables. And one of the big things that you can control is your cholesterol numbers.